Now, has this been released no. to the public? No, not yet. And the government knows you have this? I, I don't know if the government knows. The military? I don't know if anyone knows. As in, you're not scared of them? Here's what I know so far. Several months ago, I was given a box of 400 color Kodachrome slides that appear to have been taken over a 10-year period starting in the mid-1940s. Two of the slides show what appears to be a small, thin body with a large head in a glass case. All of the photos are part of a collection that belonged at one point to Hilda Blair Ray and her husband Bernard. There aren't many people still alive who knew Hilda and Bernard, but I have been able to piece a few things together. The Rays had no children. They traveled extensively from their home in Midland, Texas, where Hilda was an attorney and an amateur pilot, and Bernard a geologist working in the oil industry. In 1946, Bernard was the president of the West Texas Geological Society. Mixed in with dozens of vacation shots are several unique color photos from the 1948 National Air Races in Cleveland, Ohio, and the 1948 U.S. Open Golf Tournament in Los Angeles. They captured rare color shots of Sam Snead and even Bing Crosby and Clark Gable. There are also stunning close-up shots of then General Eisenhower on a victory whistle-stop tour following World War II. There are dozens more photos that together paint a picture of a very interesting, well-traveled, and possibly well-connected couple. And then there are these last two photos that just don't seem to fit with the rest of the collection. Now, I'm a sports guy. I cover sports for a living. I'm not making any claims as to what exactly is in these two slides. The story is still coming together, but at this point, I can comfortably say that the slides are unaltered originals and that they were taken between 1939 and 1949. The body is exceptionally thin and is between 36 and 48 inches long. The head appears to be larger than its torso and has some very unusual features. I'm starting to show the slides to people, having them examined by experts in photography and forensics and anthropology. It'd be hard to fake the design of the slide the stamps, all that other stuff on here. I mean, it'd be really, really hard to fake that or duplicate that if you were trying to. I even showed them to Neil deGrasse Tyson, who understandably was less than convinced. So, okay, so maybe it's a real alien that landed. Uh, fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. Come back when you got, come back later when you got. <laughs> Fair enough, Dr. Tyson. And then there's this guy, who was an Army Lieutenant at Roswell Air Force Base in July of 1947. He looks identical, or a good copy. He visits a copy, I just say, if this is a copy, they did pretty good. And then when you start to do a 3D recreation of the body in the photo, that's when things start to get, well, a little strange. Logic tells me it's probably nothing, but I simply can't shake the thought that maybe, just maybe, it's something.